Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com on Instagram, ERW underscore plans and on Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com. Today, we're going to be unboxing my brand new uh, Passion Planner dailies that just came in and take a look at what's the same and what's different with them. So, I hope you guys are all as excited as I am. Let's get started. Just using an X-Acto knife here. Kind of open this up. I'm just gonna rip it open. I don't even care at this point. So let's just get in. Let's just dive right on in here. Let's see what we got. All right. So our first dailies I'm pulling out are the Blush Blossom and the Calm Gray, as well as the Women's Empowerment Small Sticker Pack. And then we've got And then we've got Packing Slip Luxe Champagne and lush green. Yes, I got one of each for next year. So I'll show those off to you. Um, all right, so first things first, uh, these are the four colors, like I said, that came out this year. I'm gonna deal with the stickers um, in my next video where I'm going to check out these stickers compared to Erin um, Condren stickers, compared to Happy Planner stickers, compared to some Etsy stickers. Um, so that's coming up. In the meantime, I wanted to check out these planners and see how they kind of stack up, as I stack them up, uh, to previous year's planners. So first I've got, this is the uh, 2018 Rose Gold. As you can see, same design as the Blush Blossom, but the Blush Blossom is um, a matte finish and obviously a bit more peachy, um, almost like the millennial pink uh, color in my shop. So that's that one. And then it's a lot, it's very similar to the champagne, but the champagne's definitely got, if you can see it, more of like a gold color. Let's see if you can kind of see that there. So it's got this kind of same color finish but more of a gold color. Now, as, of, as far as the textures are concerned, that's that's gonna be interesting. So let's get this out. Okay. So, the, this texture on the 2018 one is a lot smoother than this. This has, it's not as foamy as the 20, 19 and 2020 20 ones are, but you can see, you can definitely see the texture on it. Um, there's a scratch on it, I didn't realize that when I opened it up. Um, that's sad. Uh, the texture is like a really clearly like stamped in on it. You can actually see kind of like along the edge where the texture ends, but it's like, it's got kind of like a faux leather texture to it. So that's kind of exciting. Um, Inside, actually, I'll get to inside in a minute because I wanted to take a look at some of the other ones. Um, I also wanted to compare this, these covers to this year's. This is this year's cream from the Tranquil Tones set. And um, this is a, this cover here is a lot smoother. Then this one here, this one's kind of, like I said, this has got that kind of foamy texture that everybody's been talking about. Uh, this one definitely has more of the faux leather texture to it. I feel like this cover, mm, yeah, this cover feels a little bit more realistic, I guess you would say. This one definitely has that foamier kind of feel to it. I'm kind of curious what the gray is going to be like. So we'll check that out. Let's 
So the gray versus the 2020, this one. The gray has almost like a suede kind of texture to it, whereas this one feels very plasticky, so to speak. The gray has a much more like a suede kind of feel to it, but also kind of craft foamy. Like, de like definitely the corners feel kind of craft foamy on this. So uh, that's gonna be my verdict as far as the uh, 2021s, or the new ones that just came out are concerned, is that they still haven't really changed the cover. I mean, they've, they've changed it slightly, but it's still gonna have a bit of a kind of crafty vibe to it. It's not that kind of the quality that you got from the 2018 that I showed you. Um, but it definitely has a better, it's, it's, it's a step in the right direction because it definitely has a better feel to it than the uh, 2020 ones do overall. Just like it's a little bit foamier, so to speak. Um, now here we've got my 2019, and I was bringing this out for two reasons. One, this was the first one where the, the texture got a little weird on it. Um, this one I like the cover, like this one, if we're gonna do softness wise, it would go, the gray is like very soft, very like I said, um, suede. This kind of has that, this 2019 still has the kind of almost faux leather texture, like it almost feels like real leather, but you know it's not. And then you have this one kind of in the middle where it's, you're getting more toward the foamy feel for it. So, and I also wanted to bring this one out because this is the aqua blue in my favorite cover design ever because it, it gave me like Bioshock vibes for days. Um, this is the forest green and I just wanted to put those kind of side by side or the lush green as they're calling it so you can get a sense of the difference in the colors. You've got a little bit of a shine there so I just wanted to kind of pull that up there so you can kind of see the green versus the aqua blue. So um, I still think aqua blue is a bit more like teal, like a dark teal than true blue, but that's the difference is there in color. So last thing I want to check out is the inside because the insides are different this year. So 2020 or the ones that were launched in 2019, the ones that launched in 2020. Um, open it up, same thing. First page, same thing. We don't have the Hardo story right away. We've got the how the Passion Planner works first thing instead of at the end of this eight page story. And in fact, we've, we've completely skipped Hardo at this point. We've gone here and then just start. Game changer. And then we're going right into your monthly pages so that's exciting and then we've got the blank calendar this is brand new so that's this is pretty cool that we've got this blank calendar on page 15 because we didn't even get to the actual meat of anything until this is this was page 15 14 15 in the old planner this is page 14 15 in the new style so that's exciting um this is interesting. We have on page eight, the roadmap and the game changer, this month's game changer goal. And then we have what I'm gonna use as a future log, the month, self check-in and game changer goal for the month. I don't know if that was intended. That seems weird, but that's fine because I stick her over the game, the roadmap sections anyway, so that's totally fine. Um, and then the month again, oh, okay, I see what they did. It's like the, okay, I see what they did. So they've got it set up like the uh, undated. So we've got, I really, this is gonna bug the crap out of me. This is the start of month one. Let's say it's January for next year. And then you have your future log. And then you have your monthly calendar, your monthly review one page and then into, January into like February 
Why do they stick the future log here? It would wait, make way more sense to have the second roadmap page here or put the roadmap on this side and have like a blank page here or literally anything else. Do the future logs. Or even do the future logs. You just move the future logs up here and then put the roadmap passion plan and then put the months so that it's always month the game changer, month, month in review. Anyway, just got those. How many months did they give me? Hold up. One, two, three, four. You've got four monthlies. One, two, three. Four. Four months. Review. And then right into the dailies. And I'm guessing there's no break in the dailies. Let's look. Yeah, the dailies are just... There's no break in these. I don't like that. Um, yeah. And then how many... What do we have in the back here? Page 216 to 226. So 12 single pages or six spreads here total. Is that the same as last year's? Let's take a look. All right. So, nope. We had, we had one extra spread. So we had 14 back pages last year. We got 12 now. And I really like that they were broken up into 31 day chunks which if you guys know my shop, you know, I did these cover, the Bujo covers like that. So they, to help you kind of break it up. So now we're back to the problem I always had with the uh, undated, which is that I'm gonna need two sets of tabs from Chelsea's store. So I'm gonna need a set to mark off my months, which is gonna get real jacked up with this nonsense and then I'm gonna need another set for the back now this is great if your planning style is not to do a daily planner and you're not doing a daily journal you're not doing a daily planner you're planning on the days that you need to break your weekly plan into daily sections so maybe you'll get like four months out of it or maybe you'll get like six months out of it or maybe a whole this will do you for a whole year in which case you don't have enough monthly spreads um, Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, let's see. This one has, I know, 93 total month, or daily spreads. And it starts on 22, page 22, the daily spreads. This one starts on 30. 30 to... Sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing math in my head here. Thir Based on my math, that's 92 spreads. But I mean, I'm doing math in my head. So, um, you know, maybe don't take my word for it necessarily. I haven't had time to count them out yet, but the, uh, 214 minus 30 divided by two comes out to 92. So that seems like 92 spreads. Um, that's kind of weird. I don't know why they do one less, especially since they got rid of Hardo at the beginning. So anyway, so here's the good thing. Here's the, my final thought on the whole situation. They have listened to you, to all of us, um, with the planners. We now have compared to last year, we now have a monthly spread, four of them, and we have less Hardo. Uh, so they, they are listening. That, that's, that, that's what I feel like the good news is. Um, 
uh, maybe if uh, you keep asking, they'll do dated ones, because I know that's been a big ask for a lot of people. Um, and I know that's what Amplify did was dated planners. Um, so maybe if we keep asking, we'll get that. I don't think we'll get weeklies like the Amplify planner has. I don't think we're gonna have a monthly, weekly, daily like that is set out. Um, but we can always ask, it can't hurt to ask. Um, I just feel like um, the monthlies, we, they sacrificed Hardo for the monthlies and they just aren't gonna make these much thicker than they already are. But they have listened and so that's exciting. Um, I just wish they would break it up the way they did before, month, th uh, 31 days, month, 31 days, month, 31 days. Uh, fingers crossed if we ask for it, we can get it. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the their new planner. Um, as I, always, they always say it's a work in progress. So maybe by our next iteration, we'll have some new adjustments to it and we'll have the like ideal daily planner, but they've made some really good changes. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep our fingers crossed on cover material and getting the uh, planner with either like a weekly layout or um, something else. So so we'll keep our fingers crossed that for next year we'll have a different cover and maybe, maybe a different layout with some additional features because they do seem to be listening. Um, real quick, I'll take a look at the stickers. Um, as I said earlier, I'm gonna do an entire video comparing, doing like a full sticker rundown for Passion Planner. Um, and y'all know where my feelings already were about the stickers and the tabs. Uh, so let's take a look. I didn't get the full book. I just got the kit, which came with, came with uh, five sheets. Five sheets for nine bucks. Um, that, that's more expensive than Happy Planner for sure. But what I really wanted, I really wanted these today word stickers. And I really wanted to check out the washi. So I thought there was more functional in here. All right, well, we're gonna make it work with what we got. We're gonna test these stickers out in the dailies and in two different sizes of weekly and see what we come up with. Maybe three different, I have a large still somewhere. I could probably test it out in the large. Ooh, test out in three sizes of planner. <laughs> Plus the daily, heck, maybe we'll throw them in the amplify, see what goes. Cause here's the thing, remember they don't have specific sizes like your Etsy store does for each planner size. It's a one size fits all kind of deal here with these uh, passion planner stickers. So we will check them out and see what we think in a future video. In the meantime, that's the unboxing of the new Passion Planner launch from uh, two weeks ago. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like the video, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. And I would love to hear your thoughts on the changes that Passion Planner has made this year. Um, are you guys excited? Uh, about what's you know about what we've got here or are you kind of not feeling it where are you at um is this planner piece for you so you know let me know in the comments and again remember like subscribe thanks guys